you can now unofficially use Dolly 3 on Microsoft Bing. Just head over to bing.com slash create and you'll be able to start creating images using Dolly 3. Now it's important to note that Microsoft hasn't officially said that they're using Dolly 3, but when you look at the content that's being generated and the output quality, you can see that this is much, much better than Dolly 2. And if we went ahead and compared the images from the image creator with the images that um, OpenAI dropped when they announced Dolly 3, you can see that there is a clear similarity between the type of content and the output quality. So we can make the assumption that um, the image creator is using Dolly 3. So to test this, I used the same prompt that I found on the OpenAI announcement page. This was the prompt from the Potato Kings. And I plugged that into Microsoft Bing's image creator. And as you can see, there's a lot of similarity between these two images and they both look really good. Of course, the Dolly 3 um, from OpenAI looks a little bit better compared to the one that we got back from image creator, but you can see that this is much, much better than Dolly 2 because I actually went ahead and ran that same output in Dolly 2. And as you can see, these images suck in comparison to the ones that we got back from the image creator and from the one that's on the OpenAI Dolly 3 announcement page. And the great thing about the image creator is that it's completely free to use. So you have 100 credits per day. The only drawback that I've been experiencing is that there's a long wait time. And I think that's because um, this is a free tool and they probably have a lot of demand of people trying to generate images. So it does take a little bit longer to generate um, content. It really is dependent. I find that some content is able to generate a lot quicker compared to um, other content. Um, so you may have a little bit of a wait time, but as you can see, the content is really good. So this is an image of Pikachu and Mr. Krabs. And as you can see, like this is awesome. Like this looks exactly like the original images of Mr. Krabs and Pikachu. And previously, it's hard for you to be able to generate two different images um, of two different characters. But as you can see, Dolly 3 does a really good job at doing so. This is a rainbow in the solar system that I generated. And as you can see, again, this image is awesome. Um, you can definitely go ahead and put this on your website or use it for some cover art. And as with Dolly 2, you have the ability to use these images as you like. So you can use these images to make money um, and you can use it for commercial purposes as well. Another cool feature of the image creator is that you can actually go ahead and customize this image. So if we click on customize, this will take us over to the Microsoft Designer Suite. So this is kind of like Canva, but it's powered by AI. So I like that Microsoft is connecting all of their different AI tools, which allows you to be able to have access to a powerful suite of different AI tools. So what I can do here, I can describe the image in which I would like to create, or sorry, I can describe the design in which I would like to create. And on the right hand side here, we already have some pre-made templates that integrates that image that you've just generated. So let's now go ahead and describe the image in which we like to create. So I've asked the AI to create an album cover art for an artist named Sons and include the album release date, which is October 21st. And we also have a suggestion to improve our prompts. So if we wanted to improve it, we can use this suggestion. But on the right hand side, these are the outputs in which we get back. And as you can see, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are all right. Um, this one here is pretty nice. As you can see, they, they have a nice uh, backdrop. It's a video, it's pretty cool. Again, we have another um, pretty cool image here. So as you can see, by combining these AI tools, this allows you to create content a lot quicker. So if you're a graphic designer, or if you need to create content for your business and you don't really have that much experience using Canva or Photoshop, you can use these AI tools and just essentially describe what you want and the AI will do all of the heavy lifting. So if you like any of these designs, you can click on Customize Design and boom, this will open up a suite of other um, features in which you can use to further customize this image. So this looks more like Canva. So this allows you to add things like more visuals, more text, and change the color and so forth. But again, as you can see here, we really didn't have to do much. And within a couple of minutes, we generated a completely new image and we were able to customize that image to our liking. So as you can see, this is a really, really exciting time. Dolly 3 is definitely a step up in terms of text image generation, and you can generate some of the best quality images that I've ever seen using AI. So again, if you would like to use Dolly 3 for completely free, head over to bing.com slash create, log in, and then you'll be able to create images for completely free. Give it a try and let me know what you guys think. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.